your first alert forecast with meteorologist Jan Ryherd. Well, I feel like I've been saying this a lot lately. Beautiful blue skies. We've got them again out there. You can see those wispy cirrus clouds. Anytime you see those kind of hair like clouds, those are those cirrus clouds. And we've got plenty of those overhead. But again, filtering that sunshine in some spots, but not enough to block out the sunshine really at all. In your first alert, we do have wind highlighted. We'll see the picking up here through the afternoon here today over uh, night and into tomorrow, starting to see that picking up even more. I think tomorrow is when we're going to see that more highlighted in that orange color. Uh, versus that yellow color today overall pretty quiet and easy going breezy as we head through the afternoon 25 30 mile power gusts or so but that is going to help us push into the upper 70s look for 76 in Edgewood and Wacon today 77 for Marquette Dyersville Dubuque Cascade as well a very nice afternoon as we head into our northwestern zone look for around 80 in Allison and Waverly Laporte City 81 for uh, Waterloo and 77 in West Union in our uh, central zone, around 80 for Cedar Rapids, Vinton, around 81, Traer, uh, around 80, and Belle Plaine and Toledo pushing into those lower 80s as well. 80 is pretty common for our southern zone with 81 in Iowa City, Sigourney as well, also in Marengo, North English Riverside, Brighton, all up to right around that 80 degree mark. Southerly winds, southwesterly for uh, overall for the next several days, either way, bringing in that warmer air for us. Now, by Saturday, you'll start to notice that turning a little bit more out of the west, eventually turning more out of the north as the front passes through. That's going to cool us back down through the weekend. But today through Friday, really seeing those warm winds and keeping things very warm. Feels like baseball season. Why not to start off Colonel season here in Cedar Rapids home opener this evening? And it's looking like a great one. First pitch in the upper 70s by the seventh inning stretch into the upper 60s. Winds calming down as we head through game time as well. Should be a pretty uh, packed stadium here this evening. I think it's going to be a pretty nice game to get out and enjoy. Really a, a very good one, especially when you compare to what we had last year. Highs in the 30s. We had snow coming down the uh, morning of the opener last year so that's certainly some welcome news it's been all the way back to 2017 since we had a, a nice home opener and this one uh, may even be a little bit better tonight temperatures for us into the middle 50s mostly clear skies overhead tomorrow we'll push those temperatures up a little bit more into the lower 80s for pretty much everyone out there tomorrow winds do pick up though as well for us as we head through the day on Wednesday Thursday also could see those gusts in that 30 or 35 mile per hour range but full sunshine overhead really looking to be uh, several nice days in a row through the rest of the work week anywhere from the upper 70s to low and middle 80s looking very likely for us as we head into the weekend then we'll start to turn things around that blocking pattern that's keeping us so warm and mild here that's going to break down we're going to start to see temperatures dipping back to a seasonal range it looks cool compared to the 80s but that's where we should be this time of year is the upper 50s jackie so we're, we'll be back there we'll have those rain chances back here this weekend and certainly we do need the rain as well we had our little week of summer but back to spring <laughs> yes it, back to reality for us uh, as we head through the weekend and early on next week but hey summer's coming we'll, but before too long we'll all be complaining about the heat it's too hot, there's bugs, yeah, all that exactly. fun stuff. <laughs> all right, thanks, Jan.